All right, guys, GoodBoy32 here checking out, sitting out here on the range at my review table, home away from home. This is kind of pretty cool because I've decided to start doing reviews out here. And this is actually a table that is on the range that I do all the, the uh, steel shooting, uh, short stuff. Well, anyway, uh, so when I got the uh, Purse 4 from the guys over there at Zenit Co. at Ivan Tactical, uh, I asked uh, Sightmark if they would send me out something that I could use that would pick up infrared laser. And so uh, I did a little research and asked them if they would send me the Wraith HD Series 4x32x50 digital rifle scope, and they did. Now, I don't know if this was the best thing to use in trying to illustrate what that Purse 4 could do, but I did find out in shooting at nighttime, this thing's pretty damn cool. Uh, is it more for a tactical environment? Eh, maybe not, but if you're hunting hogs, this could be something that you really like. Now, I tell you what, this is, I think, probably for me, one of the hardest things to do a review on uh, because I'm not big into the, the night stuff. I mean, we have PVS-7s, PVS-14s, uh, PVS-5s. That's how far back I go, but those are not infrared scopes like this is. Now, you might feel some wind kicking up because, well, it's windy out here. All right, so without further ado, what I want to do is just show you this thing really quickly. Uh, really neat stuff. You got 1080p HD digital imaging, daytime color mode, night vision mode, built-in HD video recorder, mini SD card goes in it, H time, eight time digital zoom. There are 10 reticle options with nine different color modes. Now, is this something I'm gonna be able to show you guys? Hold on, here comes the wind. There it is. If this is something that I can illustrate to you guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and put a photo up here of showing you all those things when we talk about them individually. Uh, it's got a separate power input, an additional weaver rail for accessories, and a five position uh, profile saves. Okay, so you can set it up for five different rifles, five different uh, rounds. A really neat little deal here. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and open the box. And what you get, you have a set of instructions right here. This is pretty neat. It is a user manual, and it goes through all the stuff. I would suggest that you really want to go ahead and get online and take a look at it. It comes with an IR flashlight, ejective lens cover, fixed Picatinny mount, and a user manual. This being the user manual. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this away, and let's pull this guy out real quickly. All right, so when you open up the box, you've got some styrofoam stuff in here. This is the infrared light. Now, this guy right here takes the uh, CR123A batteries. We'll go ahead and open those up real quick. I'll show you, because I do have batteries here, but unfortunately, I uh, have to go out and get some AA batteries because I left those all at the house. Well, anyway, uh, there are several levels of brightness for this guy right here, and uh, it is an LED version. And I don't know if you can see that or if the, that light will actually pick that up, but it's, uh, you can actually see it with the naked eye. It is red. It is also a zoomable, so you can zoom it in and out. And we'll go ahead and show you those features here uh, when we take this thing out on the long range. We are going to go shoot some steel tonight with this thing, so it should be interesting. I think you can see that. Not sure. All right. Well, anyway, that's it. And one of the cool things, and we'll, we'll talk about this here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and get my Allen wrenches out. This is built on a turret. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to brighten up the screen a little bit also so you can see it better. All right, so one of the cool things is when you loosen this up and you can attach this flashlight to the pick rail on your rail of a rifle or anything else. But one of the cool things, or you can actually attach it to the top of this pick rail right here. It, it adds a lot to it, but let's go ahead and loosen these things up because I do want to show you there's a ball turret to where you can actually move this light in a motion. So if you've got it sitting over here, you can angle it in, you can angle it out, you can angle it up or down or however you want. But I thought that was a really neat add. A little thumb turn here for your pick rail attachment. I'm going to go ahead and turn that thing off before the batteries die on it. There we go. All right, so the meat and potatoes of this guy is this right here. Let's go ahead and bring the screen in so we can talk about the details of it. Here we go, stand by. All right, so here we are, man. We got the Wraith in hand, and I will tell you this, this uh, it, it's a hefty little thing. It weighs by itself 36.3 ounces. Is that uh, something that's a big concern to me? No, it's not. Uh, it's it's going to be a lot of fun to shoot with at night, and I'm really looking forward to it. The body's made out of aluminum. You do have a little... Uh, 
I guess, eyepiece right here that is removable. Now, I, me, myself, and I will probably go ahead and just leave that removed. I like it the way it is right here because what you're looking at, and we'll talk about this later on because I can actually put a mini SD card in here and hit the record button, and you guys can see exactly what the hell I'm looking at. You've got a pick rail assembly right here. Uh, that does. They do have a QD attachment thing that you can put on here, but uh, just to be, keep in mind, these uh, twist neural knobs are not tethered. They do have a flathead screwdriver opening right there, and this comes open like that. All right, so the objective or the diopter right here is adjustable here for fine tuning, as well as you're going to have to adjust your scope for different distances. That's something that I wasn't quite, it's kind of like a parallax adjustment, but it's just a uh, focus ring for when you're looking at the targets. You do have a front cover right here, which is kind of nice because you can fold that thing up there like that, bring it down back in place there. Again, we do have a Picatinny rail up here. Here is the battery compartment. And again, I opened it up today and I thought the batteries were 100% uh, and they are not. And unfortunately, I got to go back out to the store to get some batteries. But you do, you fit your four AA batteries in there. You can see you've got your positive and negative connection points right here. That's pretty self-evident. And if you don't have them just right, see that slot right there on the cover? That's going to allow you to go ahead and put this thing into place properly. Ah, just like that, so you don't, you can't misalign it. That's pretty cool. I like the way they did that. All right, so let's talk about a couple of details here. This thing is actually pretty cool. And, and like I said, I probably am not going to do it justice in my review, but most importantly, what I want to do is just cover some of the details that are important to me, as I think they should be to you. You've got adjustment things right here, power and button right there. We'll go over the details of that here in a few minutes. But uh, basically, it has a CMOS sensor, uh, 1080p on the sensor resolutions. Display type is a FLCOS. Display resolution is 1280 by 720. It does have a built-in video recorder, so we'll go ahead and I'll show you some of those when we get up there and start doing some shooting. Memory card up to a 64 gigabyte SD card, mini SD card. So the format for taking videos is AVI. The resolution of the video clip is going to be 1080 by 720, and the format for the photo files is JPEG. Also, the resolution for the JPEG photos is going to be 1080 by 720. Memory capacity is approximately seven hours on the 64 gigabyte. You're only going to get about four and a half hours of battery time out of this thing, depending on what you're doing with it. The objective lens is 50. The digital zoom is one to eight. The focal lens is 80 millimeter. Eh, let's not get into too much of the details here because some of that stuff's not really too important, but field of view at 100 yards is 21 yards. All right, so we got four AA batteries and three and a half hours of video mode. All right, who wants to see me go shoot with this thing? The adjustments on the scope, we're gonna go ahead, get some batteries. We're gonna zero this thing in. I'm gonna zero it in at 36 yards because we are gonna be shooting it with one of the new rifles, the SNG, and uh, really looking forward to seeing how that thing. We took it out there yesterday with the uh, the ACOG and had a blast shooting it is IP55, which means you can splash water on it. Wouldn't go submerging the damn thing, but uh, uh, shock proof, drop from uh, three feet, and it's good for a 308. You've got your uh, mini or you got your exterior uh, USB charging port right there, as well as a mini SD card port right there. You've got all kinds of controls over here, and honestly, guys. It would be hard for me to show you all the different things you can do. They say it's good out to 200 yards. Uh, we're going to test that theory. All right, well, let's go get some batteries in this thing, get it zeroed up, and take it out and do some night shooting with it, shall we? Here we go. Y'all have fun. Here, yeah. All right, guys, so we're sitting out here at the range. I've got a target set up at 36 yards. We're going to do a 36-yard zero because what my intention is is that we want to engage still at 100, out to 200, maybe 250. Uh, we'll go ahead and put an intermediate out there. Why not? And then maybe uh, 300. So we got some time. A lot of wind tonight. So just bear with me. But we're going to do, yeah, let's do 100, 150, 200, 250, 300. See how this thing can span out there. We're by ourselves tonight. Should be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get this done. Now, I will tell you this. The cool thing about this guy is that you can shoot with it during the day. And then the, the optimal retinals in it 
it's just a matter of going through the menus like a computer system the wind is absolutely kicking ass for taking names so let's go ahead i'm going to go ahead i want to put it there's a chevron which you know is probably one of my favorites we'll go ahead and put it on that and then what we'll do uh is i will show you the video through this thing while we zero it in here we go stand by okay so now we're recording one of the things i will tell you is that there is no sound or uh what do you call it, microphone on this particular scope so what i want to do is i want to see if i can continue recording there's the green now it starts recording over and over All right, so we hit the record button. It's getting a little darker out here. So let's go ahead. It's in the color mode right now. So I'm gonna bring it up. That's one power, second level, third level, fourth level, fifth level, six, seven, eight. Those are the digital zooms. That's pretty uh, digitized. Let's bring it back out a little bit. One, two, three, four. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna shoot at that hole right there. Alright. Looking pretty good so far. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go put some steel up and uh, let's bring some steel. See how much fun we can have. Let it get real dark. Then we'll test out how well this uh, flashlight works. Well, Alright guys, we're out here in the night. Now I have conveniently placed targets I've got a little light right here. This is one of those lights that uh, came in that tack pack kit. And I'm gonna be honest with you, man. This is one of the most useful lights I have right now, because uh, we are gonna start doing a lot more stuff at night. Because one, uh, it is dark <laughs> earlier. So anyway, we've got uh, a 30 round mag here. Now, unfortunately, what I did was I actually took the uh, wraith off the rifle and remounted it. So we got a zeroed at 36 yards. We're gonna see how well it gets back there. Now I've placed targets at 100, 150, 200, and 300. I'm gonna run you through all the reticles so you can see what's going on there. And then uh, we'll engage the targets and see how we do. Now, I don't know if, how well it's gonna hit. We'll start off at the 100. Also, the flashlight is adjustable. And what that does is it will give you more or less light and it will project out further with the beam. So why don't we go ahead. I have it turned on right now. I'm gonna press the record button so you can see what's going on. This is uh, without the light. And the nice thing, we can leave this light on while we're shooting so you guys have an idea of what's going on. But before we get it started, I wanna go ahead and I wanna turn that light on. Okay, so what we're looking at, you're seeing the sights now. That, let's get over here. All right, so that right there is the 100 yard target. Now, watch what happens. Now, I relocated the light off of the scope itself and put it on the front of the rifle. So what happens, I can turn that light down low and lower and lower and zoom it in. So you can't hardly see that thing. But if we go ahead and rotate that light out, it will project that beam a good ways. Almost to the point where it's almost too bright. Now, you know I like that chevron. So what we're going to do, there's the 100 yard target. I place the target there at the 150. Now we're going to rotate up to 200. There you go. There you are. I'm going to use some magnification. That's a 10 inch at 200. We'll go on in. It starts getting digity right there. But you can see how well that looks. And then, guess what? There's another 10 incher. That's 300 yards right there. 300 yards. And that's all the way back out. So why don't we go ahead, I'm gonna put some in here. Now, I don't know how good my shooting's gonna to be tonight, uh, just because we did pull this thing off of here. Let it go forward. Uh, let's try that 300 yard target, see how well, if we can even hit it. Now, there it is. Let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. Center point. I didn't hear a hit. I'm going to aim at the bottom, see what happens. 
Nope. Top. Ah, all right. A little far. Let's get, look at that 200 yard target right there. We got her. And you can see that brush going around. Uh, where's my 150? Oh, there you are, 150. Hex in the right, right shoulder. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're uh, we're shooting to the right a little bit. I don't know what the striations across there are. There we go. Maybe we can take it back to the 300 and see if we can get that guy. There it is. <laughs> All right, let's bring it down to 100. I'm going to aim right there. So let's see if it hits in the center. 150. All right. Bring it down. Two hundred. Go. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a lot of fun. Okay, so that's one of the radicals. Not my favorite. All right, so we can switch it to green. Let's switch to green. Okay, there's the green mode. As you can see. I'm not really a big fan of that. I can't tell what the hell's going on out there. There we go. 200 yard target. 100. Alright, this is more like a sniper. It is not a first focal plane. Let's tag that 150. Where's she at? There you go. Let's see if I can get that brighter. Beautiful. Okay, so this is a different reticle right here. Where's my 100? Come to daddy. What? There we go. Okay, so this is a uh, just a simple crosshair with. Uh, the center dot. I think that's a one mil. Uh oh. We need to get some more ammo. Let's go ahead and uh, switch this up a little bit. It's a. It's, it, it says a lot that I've actually taken this thing off and remounted it, and it's gone back to a pretty close zero, approximate zero, I guess. Okay. Let's see what else we got. All right. So this is a single dot right here. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna engage that 300 yard target right there. It's a one mil dot. There it is. Let's do that one more time. Ah, all right, where's 200 at? Let's bring it out. There's our 200 yard target. All right, excellent. So that was the one mil dot. Let's change it up. Okay, so this is a one mil dot with the uh, lines. Whatever. Oh, we started over. Okay. Uh, and some. Oh, yeah. Here we go. 100 yard. <laughs> 150. Bring it in. You know what? I need to use the. Uh... Okay. So that was the uh, 150 with the one mil dot and some lines on it. Bring that back. We don't need all that. Let's try that again. There we go. All right, let's try something else. All right. 
Okay, so this is just a simple uh, crosshairs. Go ahead and bring that out. There's 200. All right. Crosshairs are boring. Let's go somewhere else. Okay, so we're skipping a few. I'm going with this guy right here. This is the uh, one MOA center dot, and I think it's uh, 45 or 65 MOA. I'm going to bring that in. Okay, let's grow up to the 300. There you are. Ah! <laughs> and then we'll bring it back down to the 100. I'm going to focus it in. 200. Where you are? Da -da -da. He's hiding along the hilltop over there. Oh. I'm going to focus her in. Yes. All right, let's try something else. All right, well, we're back to the, uh, and I wonder. All right, that's high. High on the battery, on the uh, flashlight, IR light. All right, there we go. All right, let's do, uh, let's see. All right, bring her on back down. Wow, look at that light now. You know what? I'm going to change it up. I like that circle dot. Alright guys, don't forget there's like nine different colors as well. Uh, am I impressed? I am now. I learned how to operate that flashlight and I figured exactly how, how it's supposed to work. That's pretty awesome. The green, I'm not sure I'm big on the green. I like it. Alright, let me know what your thoughts are, man. This was, uh, this was a pretty good experiment for me. Uh, we're going to get into some night vision here very shortly just because it is going to be a uh, time where it's going to be dark at like 5 o'clock. So we're going to need some way of uh, testing out equipment. Let's go to Boy32. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. $4.99. And you got yourself a serious hunting machine. Uh, tactical? Eh, because anybody with infrared or uh, uh, night vision is going to know exactly where you are. So it's probably not suitable for a, a very tactical uh, posture but for hunting oh hell yeah let's go to boy 32 god uh yeah i'm out of here y'all be good <laughs>